Hello everyone, I'm John Keenan, President of Salem State University. It's an honor to be part of today's celebration. Salem State has been a proud member of the Paul Revere Battalion ROTC at MIT for many years. It's a privilege to have you on our campus and you are such a vital part of our community. Congratulations to all the 2020 commissionees on your stellar academic achievement. We look forward to hearing about all your future accomplishments. Thank you for serving our country. And a special thank you also goes to the friends and the families of all the commissionees for offering support as they pursued their degrees. Congratulations again, and I am proud to welcome you to our alumni community of 65,000 strong. Congratulations. It's a great honor and a privilege to speak at your commissioning ceremony. Not only have you performed all that was required of you to earn your Wellesley diplomas, but you have assumed added responsibilities in service to our nation. Your commitment and your accomplishments are remarkable. And as a fellow citizen, I'm deeply grateful. The oath you'll take today is a special solemn promise. It's not to a sovereign ruler or a political party but to a set of democratic ideas embodied in our Constitution. The selflessness evident in this commitment is a model for all of us to follow. Your devotion to something larger than yourself, larger than any single person or organization, exemplifies the best of Wellesley and the best of this nation. Not to be served, but to serve. Sophie, as your time here comes to a close, know that you will carry always with you Wellesley. May you find strength and inspiration in this bond as we do in you. Thank you for all that you've done and for all that you will do. Congratulations. Congratulations, cadets, and best wishes to all of you from Tufts University. We look forward to hearing of your contributions in the years ahead, and we will hold you in our thoughts, knowing that you have chosen a course of dedication and of truly selfless service. We are very proud of you and grateful to your commitment to service. Congratulations. It's an honor to congratulate our soon to be commissioned officers, as well as their parents, their family members, their mentors, and their friends. This is a wonderful moment and I'm delighted to be here along with you. I always look forward to our ROTC commissioning. I always say that a university should instill in each of its graduates a commitment to public service. In my view, there is no higher form of public service than serving one's nation in uniform. Each of these young men and women who take the oath of office today have sworn to defend the Constitution and to the United States, and we owe them all our deepest form of gratitude. Harvard is proud to call you our own. We're proud to call you our alumni. We're proud to see what you will do in the future as you join a long line of other Harvard alumni who have stepped forward to defend our country. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and Godspeed. Hello, I'm Rafael Reif, MIT's president, and I'm honored to speak to you on this important occasion. To arrive at this day, you chose a path that would have tested anyone. And in a time that is testing all of us, I'm deeply grateful for your extraordinary commitment to serve and to lead. I know you will continue to set challenging goals for yourselves and I wish you every success in each new opportunity that lies ahead. To all of you and to your families, congratulations from all of us at MIT. To the graduating members of the Paul Revere ROTC Battalion, Congratulations on reaching this important benchmark. Each of you met the high standards of your schools and earned your degree. You stand ready to begin your service to the nation 
as a commissioned officer in our United States Army. 36 years ago, I pinned on my second lieutenant bars and prepared to head to my first duty assignment as a mechanized infantry platoon leader in then West Germany. I felt confident in two things. One, the Soviet Union would be our sole long-term enemy. And two, that I would leave the service after a five-year obligation and find a civilian job. Clearly, you can see that I was wrong on both counts. The future is uncertain. We need disciplined, smart, ethical leaders to navigate this terrain. Many of you will face and overcome monumental challenges in the near future. Your toughest academic exams, and yes, even your snowy field training exercise in Maine last spring, will seem easy in comparison. Your cadre, and most of all, your future soldiers trust that you are up to this task. As you put on the uniform, remember three things. First, your soldiers will follow your example. None of them will care what school you went to or even what your GPA was. They won't care what you know until they know that you care. If you exhibit discipline, high standards, and genuinely care for your people, your unit will reflect those behaviors. Second, be an expert in your field and grow every day. Your graduation is the beginning of a lifetime of learning, not the end. And third, character is non-negotiable. Trust is the bedrock of our profession, and trust is an imperative inside the Army and with the American people. The Army demands moral awareness and adherence to the highest standards of conduct. Once again, congratulations on reaching this milestone. I am proud of your accomplishments and eager to see what you will achieve in the future. Go Army. Congrats.